The most eagerly awaited American entry was Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, his follow-up film to Reservoir Dogs, also first screened at Cannes. I, I knew the extent of how much Khan uh, helped me when I was here with dogs, but it wasn't until throughout the course of the whole next year that I realized really the extent of how much Khan helped me because it was just, you know, every film person all over the world, you know, critics, uh, theater owners, uh, runners of different festivals and everything, they're all here. And it was because they saw it here that they wanted it and you know, they had it play in their theaters and stuff. And so it, it, it took me almost a whole year to really ex to appreciate the extent of how, what the impact Khan had. I found that there's a lot of humor in Reservoir yeah. Dogs. But there's even more in, in, in Pulp Fiction. All right, but the whole thing in, 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 in Dogs was, you know, you're supposed to laugh, 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 until you're not supposed to laugh anymore. And then, I'll, then I want you to laugh again, you know, uh, after that. But uh, here the tone is decidedly much more comic. I need you two folks to do is take those cleaning products and clean the... Are, are you infatuated with violence? It's just the movies, all right? So I don't have a... a I don't bring any kind of moral standard to the aspect of violence, all right? You know, uh, any more than Stanley Donnan brings any moral standards to the aspect of tap dancing, okay? I mean, you know, it, it's just one of the many things in cinema that you can do. And some people don't like it, and that's okay, they're not jerks. My mom doesn't like slapstick comedy. If I was Buster Keaton, she probably liked it because I was her son, but she wouldn't appreciate it. I would be falling on deaf ears for her. But that doesn't mean Buster Keaton's not a genius, she just doesn't like slapstick comedy. Tarantino is Hollywood's hot director of the moment, which explains why such highly paid stars as Bruce Willis simply begged to work for him for next to nothing. I asked, I raised my hand, I, I said, can I be in your movie? Uh, um, Harvey Keitel introduced us, and uh, I was a big fan of Quentin's first film, and uh, I wanted to meet him, and it just so happened that he was doing this film, and I you know, read the script. and. That's exciting for me. I, I had a really good time doing that that film, you know, you know, working with you know with Quentin Tarantino, and uh, it's the first film that I've ever done that, that was ever in any kind of competition. So it, it's exciting.